What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I've been very quiet recently. For good reason too though, this thing, this car has just really gotten the best of me over the last few times that I've been working on it. But so I gave my head a shake and I said, right, I'm gonna get back to work and we're gonna try and get this thing running. So for the past few days, I've just been doing what I can when I can, not really making myself work on it, but just like doing bits as and when. And this is pretty much where I've got to. So, so far I've got everything hooked up as far as I can. Made the exhaust the other day at work, just got it welded up to the flange. Plain fucking bonnet exit, mint. I basically got all the sensors and everything hooked up, got map sensor, uh, the turbo APC. Uh, just put this on for the time being, it's a standard intake pipe. But I just needed somewhere to house the air temperature sensor in that temperature sensor, but everything pretty much is buttoned up. Managed to sort the oil in issue with the sump and everything. Basically what had happened was the pump was just dry, uh, so I had to backfill the pump, which basically we, we filled up from this line here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a line down there and filled up with oil from there, so it went into the pump and then rotate the engine counterclockwise and mint. So I've just been putting fuel into the engine or fuel tank, trying to get it fired. The lift pump, what I was using was an old Walbro pump out of the tank and it's basically died. It's no more. So I basically just had to reroute and use the uh, fake Bosch pump. That big bugger. And I've basically just been trying to get the fuel moving through the system. I think it's there now. I've flicked the pump and I was like checking down here to make sure it was actually moving. I could feel it in, in the lines, so fingers crossed, we've got fuel. The wiring and everything was a pain, like a massive pain. I've been fighting on with that all day pretty much and it's now like freaking three o'clock in the afternoon. But we've got the, so I've got the panel wired up as best I can at the minute. Um, it's a bit makeshift, like all wiring down there, but it's basically just for testing purposes and then I was gonna like fix it all afterwards and do it properly. But for now we have ignition and then that was supposed to be for fuel pump one, the lift pump. That's for fuel pump two. And then we've got a starter button as well. Gone ahead and rigged up the oil pressure gauge just for safety so that we can see if there's any issues with oil pressure when I'm starting it. Fingers crossed there won't be any issues with oil pressure. Um, if there is, it's getting killed straight away. I think we're pretty much, pretty much there. We're pretty much ready to try and give it a start. So, I'm very nervous. I've got a fire extinguisher somewhere. So, we should be safe just in case. Uh, I'm gonna hook it all up and get a camera going. We'll see if it'll start. The turbo compressor housing is missing um, before anyone says anything. That's a way of getting a new flange welded on um, and machined and everything like that. So it's not here at the minute. We can start the car and run it NA. Shouldn't have any issues with that, but we won't be able to rev it and, and whatnot because obviously there's no turbo. So it should start and it should run without the turbo, basically. The turbo won't be working. Um, so, yeah. Wish me luck, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, <laughs> very nervous. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm optimistic today. So, it'd be good. It'd be a good comeback to the channel because I've like sort of lost all my patience with this thing. So if this works, I'll be very, very happy. Right, I'm gonna get myself ready and prepared. So uh, keep everything crossed and I'll see you in a sec. No problem. 
It gets flooded. We'll just wait a few seconds. Well, it started. One thing I forgot to do though, the oil line for the turbo. Didn't bung it up. One minute. There is oil all over the floor. Here's the right mess. Look, there's got loads of rags. That was scary. <laughs> it's so loud. I wasn't expecting it to fire then, if I'm quite honest. We've definitely got oil pressure though. <laughs> I can't believe it. It actually started. I'm genuinely shocked and lost for words. I don't, I don't even know what to say. That is a massive, massive, massive relief that it actually started. I'm, I'm like proper chuffed, really chuffed. Right. It's obnoxiously loud, like really loud. I mean, I did that. The exhaust thing out of bonnet because I was like yeah I want it to be loud I want it to be seen that's fucking ridiculous how loud that is as you can see in the video I was like panicking because I completely like I didn't know if anything was going to be leaking I didn't know if anything was going to be on fire and I didn't know I basically forgot how to kill the engine which is like obviously just take the battery off but <laughs> I was just too excited I was like <laughs> That's uh, that's 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 a massive relief. I, from where I was in the last video, to where we are now. Massive difference. Obviously, it's running. I know everything's working. It's just mad. It's so mad. I did forget. Uh, obviously, the oil bung, like I say. Um, see, well, can't really show you. It's probably too dark. But down here at the back of this block. Um, yeah. Hold on. So yeah, down here at the bottom of this block, or at the back of that block, there's basically a bolt hole for the um, turbo oil feed, obviously to the top of the turbo. Um, and I forgot to put it back in. Oh, well, I haven't got one yet, so. I haven't got a turbo oil line yet, so. I completely forgot about it, basically. And it's obviously, it's pissed oil out all over the floor. It's a mess. It's pissed oil all over the engine, but. I don't care because it started. One of my next tasks is definitely going to be to get a turbo oil feed line. Uh, obviously get that hooked up, no more leaks. Um, I'm going to focus on getting the front end fitted. So I've got the old front end up there, which was like a mock-up basically. I'm going to fit that um, so I can fit the radiator, which is down there. I've uh, got some piping to get for the radiator. But that's going to be my next task, getting everything hooked up, ready to run the engine properly so we can try and get the um, get the coolant bled up and everything like that so that the engine will be able to just run constantly. And then when, when the turbo comes back as well, we'll be able to like hook that up with some lines. And fingers crossed we can rev it, hear it for the first time. But this video has just been mad because it runs now. There's loads and loads of bits to button up, but the main thing is the engine runs. I just can't believe it's running. It's like the most significant thing on the channel so far. The Saab conversion in the S14 is running. It is, it's really sick. It's a sick, sick day. I can't believe it. Like I say, loads to button up, so uh, I won't be doing any more filming. This is just a short video to show you guys the engine running because it's like a massive step and a massive move forward for the S14. So I'll be working 
sort of behind the scenes now, trying to get everything buttoned up and try and get it as far as possible so that we can look at starting it properly and leaving it running. Well, I've done all of that, there won't be another video, so there's going to be a bit of a gap because it is going to take a few weeks to get this thing sorted now uh, with the time scale that I've got as well. So as soon as I've got anywhere, I'll be making a video, put it up, I'll put some stuff up on Insta or something like that, but for now, this is it. But it's a massive, massive step forward. So make sure that you like, you comment on this video because this is the biggest thing to happen with the S14 and the channel since it started like a year and a half ago. So yeah, like and comment, definitely, 100%. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. For now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tidy all this crap up and all the big mess underneath the car. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video and like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Oh.